Well, everyone's favorite time in New York City is back. We're talking about Manhattan Henge from May 28th to July 12th. New Yorkers can see the sun between the grid of the city. Joining us now is Jackie Faraday, astrophysicist and science educator at the American Museum of Natural History. Jackie, good to see you. How are you? Hi, Chris. How's it going? Good, good. So scientifically, what exactly happens during Manhattan Henge? Yeah, so what's happening, I like to call it astronomy in your face. So what what's going on is that the Earth, as we all know, is turning on its axis, giving us day and night, but it also goes around the sun. And so we are on this path. It takes us 365-ish days to go all the way around. But there's these points where we can arrive at a place in our orbit around the sun where the grid of Manhattan, which is literally a bullseye, the center point of the grid is aligned perfectly with the point in space where the sun is located as well. So you could stand in the middle of 42nd Street, 34th Street, any of the cross streets that go all the way across on the grid, take your finger, point it all the way, and 93 million miles from the point of your finger all the way out would reach where the sun is. And that's Manhattan Henge. That is incredible. You said the Earth spins round and round. You're telling me the Earth is not flat? <laughs> I'm just Correct. <laughs> Without question. So wait a second, Jay. It's some breaking news right here. I'm kidding. Uh, is there a reason why this happens on the same days in May and July every year? So, I mean, it's a beautiful thing that we have a consistent orbit as we're going around the sun. And I should say that that, that moment when your finger is aligned is also the moment the sun hits the horizon. So that's the important thing, too. It's right when it's at the setting point in the sky. So it happens symmetrically on either side of the summer solstice. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah. But there's one in May, which is today, May 28th. And then we'll get another kind of cool look of it tomorrow. And then it'll be a little higher, a little higher until the summer solstice. And then it's a little lower, a little lower until July 11th, July 12th. And that's when we say goodbye to it. But it's if, if you've ever noticed summer solstice, that phrase means sun stands still. And at that point, the sun changes its position on the sky for you. Got it. Are there some better places than others to witness Manhattan Henge in the city? It depends on how you want to rank it. If you want chaos, party chaos type atmosphere, go to 42nd Street. That's where, that's like the Mecca of Manhattan Henge, especially around Tudor City or Grand Central. People flock there, they want that picture. 34th Street and 23rd Street and 14th Street as well. But then pick a street, your favorite street. I like 145th Street and 72nd Street where you've got like a cool building that you like that you want just perfectly framed by the sun. If you're a Knicks fan, maybe you just want to be on 34th Street so mm -hmm. that you can see the garden lit up on one side by the sun. <laughs> we could use some miracles at the garden uh, tomorrow night. So uh, again, not to dampen a lot of people's parade, but you talk about chaos. Tomorrow night's probably going to be a little bit more chaotic because tonight the weather's really not cooperating with us. So people may have to put off uh, getting that perfect shot of Manhattan Engine until, until tomorrow. So we'll see. But uh, great be tips. Okay. Yeah, awesome. It, it is just, it's an incredible phenomenon that uh, I know I look forward to every year. Jackie, thank you. Great, Great to see you. Thank From the you. American yeah, Museum Chris. of Natural History, we appreciate Jackie Verdi for being with us. And you can send us your photos and videos of Manhattan Henge for a chance to have them featured on our newscast. Just scan that QR code you see right on your screen there or head to CBSNewYork.com and you can simply upload them. Okay, happening today.